really have been trying to do the whole morning routine thing. I think I've discussed that before in other videos and sometimes I'm successful and sometimes I'm not. I try to do a lazy morning workout, get my Pilates 100 in before the day starts. At least I can then say that I've done that. It's all about building tiny habits. But today is rare. Today is one of those rare days when it's just me at home. It hardly ever happens since COVID because everybody works from home. But when it does, I like to take these opportunities to take my time getting out of bed, do a little exercise and enjoy the peace and quiet. I also take this time to clean up, reset, wash my sheets, hang out in my nightgown just a little bit longer. By the way, this one is a Skims dupe from Amazon. I love Skims. You can say what you want about the family that starts with a K, but they know loungewear and they make really good loungewear. But this Amazon dupe was available in this color. It was a little less expensive. So while I do have the Skims, nightgowns. I love this one too. The only difference with this one though is those twins, Polly and Esther. So fabric gets kind of hot. It's not breathable. And it wears kind of like compression wear too. It sucks everything in. The skims just kind of skims your body. No pun intended. I'll put a link to both in the description box. So as you probably already know, I am in the process of building my new house and and while this is more of a day in the life video, as opposed to being a building my home from scratch video, designing the house is literally what I do most days. It definitely factors into any day in my life right now. So one of the things that I've been doing, I am using this productivity um, app called Craft. It's kind of like Notion or other productivity apps, but I've chosen to use this one because it's very user friendly. What I'm doing is I'm trying to get all of the things that I need to do, that I need to buy, that I want to look at, that I'm looking at for inspiration, blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to get all of those things into one place, to corral them into one place. Just a central location where I can have notes and links and pictures of things that I want to buy for the house. It's a lot of details. There are a lot of moving parts. And... Even though we will walk into a house that has fixtures already, that has carpet, that has lighting, that has the house itself built, there are a lot of little things that I need to add on the backside. So I'm always looking for inspiration and I'm always looking for a way to stay organized. I am still learning about crafts, so I'm not going to talk about it too much in this video. It's got a little bit of a learning curve, but when I'm really good at it, and I know what I'm doing, I'll share more. In the meantime, though, I thought I'd take you guys shopping with me really just searching for inspiration more so than actual sh shopping more like window shopping i guess i am scouring the anthropology website because one i love anthropology i just do and you have seen a few of the furniture pieces in my house that are from anthropology i even made a short about it big furniture pieces came from anthropology. The only thing that didn't come from anthropology is the ottoman from Target and the books. Oh, and the little wooden knot. I got... I purchased the knot and the books from Amazon, but I do love anthropology. I do. I can't lie, you guys. I love it. I'm not so crazy about the prices, but as I said in my previous video, I do want more heirloom quality pieces pieces that will last. And I have to say that everything that I've ordered from Anthropology has been really good quality. Other items I've purchased, the gleaming primrose mirror and the bed in our old guest room. If you're one of the OGs, then you have seen the gleaming primrose mirror. I have it in two sizes and I plan on purchasing the vanity size for my daughter after we move. 
But as I said previously, anthropology has added a ton of new things. So I'm just going to play around with the website for a little while before I get dressed and go out and tackle the world. Where I live, we actually have a three-level anthropology. And that is when I really discovered how extensive of a furniture collection that they have. Most of the time when you see an anthropology in the mall or in some sort of shopping area, you get a smaller store, you get the clothing, a few of the home accessories, you will definitely see the candles and a lot of the personal care items. But one of the anthropologies that we have here, it has two levels of clothing and then one whole level that's just furniture. It also has design they also have design services. They have um, a large selection of their rugs that are available for you to touch and see. It's so good, you guys. I could spend hours in that store, but I'm not going to the store today or probably even this week. And I know that even though they have a rather large showroom, they do have a lot of items that are just available online. So I'm going to take this time while there's some peace and quiet. Nobody needs anything from me. And just look at all the eye candy. They have a lot of new pieces. I thought that I was really familiar with the pieces that they have, with the items that they have. I was referencing them. I have been referencing them constantly during the process of building this house. And pretty much everything that I've scrolled through and that I've been looking at here is brand new. I know I'm looking at some things over and over again, looking at details of things, but I am truly sourcing for my house. So I'm looking at things that obviously would be specific to where I'm moving and my plans for what I want the house to look like. But I would highly suggest that when you have time, just sit and scroll through the website. Just look and see what they have. If you've never looked through Anthropology's website, I think it'll be a treat for you because it's always very colorful and a lot of the pieces are always very unique. But if you, and if you're someone who shops at Anthropology regularly, if you haven't been on the site in a while, I think you'll be pretty surprised by a lot of the new things that they have. I'm kind of giddy right now because I think I could do this all day if I don't stop myself. <laughs> but this is something that I love doing. I love looking at just the little details that go into making a home special. And even though I know I have to stay within my budget, I do know that a lot of these little pieces are pretty accessible. So we will see how this goes. We'll see just how many of these pieces I actually end up with. But I'm excited and I hope you can feel my excitement <laughs> through the screen. I'm really excited. Honestly, though, it doesn't take much. <laughs> There's so much to see on this site. And honestly, I know I've been scrolling for a while, so I'm not going to show you every single piece, obviously, that anthropology has. But I see some things I do that could really work for my space. So I'll definitely be sharing that with you guys going forward. This is definitely a marathon and not a sprint. So today, since everyone is gone, like I said, I'm also going to be cleaning up a little bit. Not too much because the weather has turned beautiful and we have some really hot days ahead and I'm not really a big fan of hot days but I do like a nice mild weather day where there's a breeze and the sun is shining but it's not beaming down on me and I can just relax and enjoy but since no one's home today no one else is washing so I'm taking this opportunity to wash my sheets I can pretty much take my time when no one's here because I like to let them soak. I like to use some bluing, do a couple of rinses and put them on a long drying cycle. I try to keep them as white as possible. 
And it's a lot easier to do that when I'm the only one who's home because nobody will have to use the washer. And while they're washing, I'm enjoying the weather. <laughs> Decided to come out, get something to eat. As you can see, I have braided my hair. Um, I don't know if it was braided in the last video, but I decided to try the boho braided style. Um, I like it, but you guys, you know what? I'm going to do silver braids next because the whole front of my head is silver and I'm tired of fighting this fight. I have probably said this before and I may dye it again, even though I don't want to. I'm actually trying to grow it out, which I kind of have to do one side at a time, but I'm still over dyeing my hair. Gray braids. I think that might work. I've done it before. And it looked okay. So one of the things that I discovered was that now that I'm doing all of this stuff for the house, I don't have time to do any of my other hobbies. I haven't touched my crochet temperature blanket in a couple of months, which kind of defeats the purpose of having a blanket that represents the temperature for every day for a year. I definitely am close to two months behind. Um, I don't even know how I'm going to catch up, you guys. But the other thing that I haven't really had a chance to do is read. So I thought I would take some time today while everyone is gone to read. So this book that I'm reading, it's called Beautiful Trauma. And I don't know, sometimes a book just speaks to me in the bookstore. I'll, you know, pick it up. I'll read the dust jacket or, you know, I'll read the first couple of pages. And I'm just like, this sounds like a good story. It's a bizarre story, but it's also a very nerdy story like me. I like nerdy stories, so it gets into like the science of what happened to this person. Um, she actually loses part of her hand because her toilet exploded. And I know that sounds bizarre. You're probably wondering, why would you want to read that? But she talks a lot about her feelings around this, the science behind it, people's reactions to her. And um, it just really promises to be a really interesting book. It doesn't lollygag. I'm in the first few pages and already I'm into the story. And the writing style so far seems pretty easy to read. I love a good triumph over adversity type story. So these things speak to me. I don't know. I have no rhyme or reason for how I read. Some people say that they're mood readers. I think moodiness doesn't even cover it when it comes to what I choose to read. But if I can actually finish this book, <laughs> I'll definitely let you guys know how I liked it. And I might even talk about it even more on my book channel. You guys should be happy to know that I got all the way to page eight. Yes, page eight before the dog started whining because as soon as I picked up this book, guess who had to go out? absolutely stunning day. I suspect the urgency was more about just being outside. She didn't really have to go that bad. One thing I've learned, when you have a pet, especially a needy Yorkie poodle, you're never really alone. So for the most part, that was my day. I didn't want to leave without showing you some of the wallpaper that I have acquired. Yes, in the interior design world, wallpaper has made a comeback with a vengeance. And there are so many beautiful wallpapers out there. Again, if you're an OG, you know that I love toile. So I have here three examples of toile. One is California print and two are the Hamptons print. I don't know why they did California instead of Los Angeles because it was supposed to be city prints and California is actually the state. But... It's okay. They still have some really cool things on the paper. This is the Hamptons print. I am thinking about using these in guest bathrooms. Um, maybe the powder room. I don't know. I have still all of the debris from the branches that I had on the table. But yeah, I love these papers and I want to do something really contrasty in the bathrooms. I have some ideas that I will be sharing with you. I also have this pink grass cloth that I'm obsessed with. 
if I had my druthers, I would put it all over my house. I have to say too that I thought that I was being a little bold when I decided to incorporate pink, but now I'm seeing pink everywhere. And Pharaoh and Paul has a beautiful pink that I can't wait to show you guys. Also, I got a sample of the Scalamandra zebras. I know some of you are probably like, girl, what? But you know what? This is gonna end up somewhere in my house because sometimes in design, you have to take risks. And I know this is a bold one. Here it is in a slightly different light. There's a story for me behind the zebras, which I will share at some point. But yeah, I know it's a bold choice. Here it is in a couple of different settings. This is an iconic wallpaper, and yes, they sell it in Anthropology. I think I can make it work, you guys. I know you probably think I'm insane. It's okay. <laughs> this is just a teaser. So I'm going to love you and leave you here. I'm going to get back to my book. I'm going to try to read 30 pages. At least that's what I wrote down for myself to do today. So I'm going to try to do that. So wish me luck. Um, and let me know down in the comments if you made it this far. What do you do when you're home alone? All right. I'll see you guys in the next one.